defensive coach for the 2001 Wood Arrow Panthers. <laughs> coach and specialist in on-field motivation for the 2001 Wood Arrow Panthers. Wood Arrow Panthers state champion, sideline control coach. Hold on, time out. <laughs> quarterback for the Wood Arrow Panthers. All right. I'm a junior and I play back and quarterback for the Wood Arrow Panthers. Play safety and wide receiver for the Wood Arrow Panthers. Wood Arrow High School, I'm part of the Red Storm. 2000 receiver and defensive end. Wood Arrow High School and I play cornerback and tight end for the Wood Arrow Panthers. I'm a running, I'm a junior and I play running back and defensive end. Kristen Egg, I'm a sophomore at Wood Arrow High School. I play quarterback and linebacker for the Wood Arrow Panthers. And at Wood Arrow High School, I play linebacker and fullback. I'm a junior at Wood Arrow High School. I play receiver in the end. I'm a junior at Wood Arrow High School. I play the running back and the defense for the Panthers. I'm a junior at Wood Arrow High School and I play middle linebacker for the Wood Arrow Panthers. High school. I play running back and linebacker for the Panthers. I'm more for Woodhill High School when I play running back and cornerback. Sophomore and <laughs> safety uh, end. Sophomore and I play tight end and defensive end for the Woodhill Panthers. I'm a sophomore at Woodhill High School and uh, play nose guard and center. Yeah. <laughs> Woodhill High School and I play center and nose guard for the Woodhill Panthers. Yeah. I'm Andrew for Woodhill High School. I'm charged with clipboard and water. <laughs> in seventh grade, and I'm a water boy. And <laughs> <laughs> I'm a water boy. <laughs> high school, I'm in sixth grade. I'm a real high school, and I'm a filmer. Yeah. Hey, Mike,
transforms.
Центровать. hold on and win the six-man state title. It's their second title in school history. Rocky Reyna led Whit Harrell with 165 yards rushing and two touchdowns on at 25 carries. Fourth cast, it's time to have some fun. We'll start with the Whit Harrell Panthers, who won their second state championship, and they did it with half the number of players you usually see on the football field. Then again, of course, they are a six-man team. They do this every week. Second quarter, we've got uh, Whit Harrell's Jordan Barker with a pass to Brandon Hoskins who backs up into the end zone for the touchdown. Panthers led 21-0 and 21-6 later at the half. Then in the fourth quarter, 21-14 with Harold Hoskin on the long gainer. But after the tackle here, which was kind of high, he lands on the knee kind of funky, and would end up having to leave the game. That could be detrimental. But both defenses played tough in the second half. Whit Harrell was picked off actually twice in the end zone, thwarting scoring opportunities. Then with under two minutes left, Richland Springs Scores a touchdown, but they missed the two-point conversion kick, so they're still down 21-20. Next possession, Rocky Reyna scores a rushing touchdown right here. That makes it 21-27-20, Whit Harrell. And under a minute left, last drive for Richland Springs. The long pass tipped around and incomplete. And then with a seven seconds left in the game, the runner can't get out of bounds. The clock would expire. And uh, no more plays for the other team. Whit Harrell takes home their second state six-man championship today, 27-20, the final score. I sure thought we could score more than 27 points, uh, but our defense played tremendous. They hung in there, bent a little bit, but they did what they had to do, and, and I'm real proud of them. It's the greatest feeling in the world. I'm glad we did it. I'm glad this, this last, my last game was a state championship and we won it. This wasn't only for the seniors this year. It was for the seniors last year and the year before that. In the last 20 years, because that's how long it's been since we won the state. And, I mean, that's what we've shot for the whole time. It's like about 20 years later, 20 years later, and we finally got it. All right, no college games today, so the NFL took advantage of the open spots. Game one, Cardinals. Because uh, we can inspire the obesity statistics with you and your sports. Exactly. <laughs> I guess I'm skinny, I, or I know and have the skinny you, or whatever sports. you play sports. video games? Yeah, video games all the time, and I'm proud of it. And you look like you do? Yeah. That's all right. Go ahead. All right. Take Whittier it away. Panthers, Whittier Panthers looking to take home the six-man state championship today. After the break, we will see if they did just that. But first, the play of the day, Giants and Cardinals from the NFL. The six-man state championship was decided today, and the Whit Harrell Panthers were looking to erase that horrible memory of the 1996 state championship, which they lost on a fifth down. Obviously, you can't do that, but it happened anyway. That game went down to the wire. Today's would as well. Second quarter, Jordan Barker going to connect with Brandon Hoskins there to put the Panthers up 21-0. At that point, they would lead 21-6 to at the half. This was a defensive battle throughout, though. You can't really say that in six-man football that often. Whit Harrell picked off in the end zone twice. Under two minutes left in the game. Coyotes score. Missed the uh, two-point kick, though, so they are still down 21-20. Next possession, Rocky Rania scores a rushing touchdown to make it 27-20. Panthers, last chance for the Coyotes. The runner not going to be able to get out of bounds. The time runs out. Whit Harrell survives and wins their second state championship in school history, 27 to 20. Kind of relief because I wanted this my whole life, and I finally got it. And I don't know, it was just great to have it. Now I finally have it. We got our goal. We got our goal. This is what we've been looking for the whole year, and we got it. Win 15 this year, and that was our goal. And and I think it'd be a good uh, kickstart for next year. With the college football regular season over, the NFL is sl slowly ran for the Whit Harrell Panthers. Stay with us. This portion of On Your Sideline.
There was a big game back at Whit Harrell's six-man state championship performance yesterday up in Sweetwater. And we will have in studio live head coach Ken Hoskins along with uh, senior Will Christenick. Stay with us. Time now for CBS 13 Sports on your sideline. Six-man state championship was decided yesterday in Sweetwater, and after 20 years of waiting, the six-man championship has returned to the Whit Harold Panthers. Second quarter, looks like the Panthers have this one in hand. Jordan Bark is going to hook up with Brandon Hoskins here to make it 21 to nothing. Whit Harold would lead 21 to six at the half. After that, Richland Springs defense buckles down. They would intercept two Whit Harold touchdowns, would-be touchdowns in the end zone. Then two minutes left in the game. Coyotes score, but missed the two-point kick. They still trail 21 to 20. Next possession, Rocky Rania is going to score the touchdown to make it 27 to 20. So one last chance for Richland Springs, but as you'll see coming up here, trying to get out of bounds, they cannot do it. The clock runs out, and Whit Harrell, crowned six-man state champion, and joining us right now to talk about that state championship, head coach Ken Hoskins and senior Will Christenick, and four-time starter, I should say as well, coach. First off, congratulations to both of you guys on the state championship. We appreciate it. Thanks for having us on, David. Oh, not a problem, not a problem. I guess the obvious question to be to ask you guys would be, I guess, uh, first, Coach, uh, how you feel about this? I mean, it's got to be a great feeling. Well, it is. Uh, this is my first one, so I don't know really how you're supposed to feel, but uh, it feels good. I'm really happy for our kids. Uh, they have been very focused all year. This was one of our goals. I'm very happy for our community. Uh, we've got very good fans, probably some of the best fans in the state, and, and I think they were... Uh, won another state championship back in Whit Harrell, and, and we're glad we could bring it back to the fans. I guess, Will, uh, yesterday, uh, Jordan Barker said that, you know, this isn't just for you guys, but it's for, you know, all the teams beforehand. I guess for you, you know, you've been here for four years, four-year starter. I guess talk about what it finally feels like, you know, to finally get that state championship under your belt. Well, it feels real good. I don't think it's really sunk in yet. I, everybody's asked me, how do you feel? you feel different today? I, I, I really feel the same, and I, I don't think it's really sunk in yet. I guess, what do you, I mean... As a senior, you know, I mean, you think about that. Have you thought about that? I guess I know it's only been one night, but I mean, you know, you're finished, but you finished. I mean, you can't finish any better than you did. I know. We went, I went out the, probably the best way you can go out and win the state championship. All right. And, Coach, I guess uh, we talked about it a little bit uh, before, but your defense pretty much makes this team. Everybody talks about six-man football, you know, and points are going to be put up on the board. And what I've noticed throughout the year, you guys pretty much rely on the defense, and that pretty much... Uh, I guess paved the way to this state championship. Yeah, it really did. Uh, we take a lot of pride in our defense. We have uh, for four years. Uh, Mickey Baker does our defenses. He schemes them out. He had a real good uh, scheme for Richmond Springs. And they've got probably one of the best running backs in the state in Jordan Hicks. And I think we held him to less than you know 60 yards rushing. But uh, you know our motto is basically the fewer points that they can score, the fewer points we have to score to win. That proved true yesterday in the state game. And also, we were talking about this beforehand. Not only you guys go undefeated this year as far as the varsity level, but uh, I guess talk about your future. It's looking pretty pretty bright as far as the junior varsity goes. Yeah, it really does. Uh, really, we've got four starters back on offense, uh, four on defense. Uh, our junior high and JV both went 9 and 0. So, you know, our football program this year went 33 and 0, and I'm real proud of that. Uh, we lose four good seniors: uh, Will and, and Josh and Chet Stewart and J.R. Reyna. And they've been good leaders for us, and uh, we're going to have to find some people to replace them. But really, our future looks pretty good. Well, Coach, again, uh, congratulations on everything. Thanks for joining us. And I'm sure the guys at the Cotton Gin uh, will have plenty to talk about, as well as everybody else around town. But I know the Cotton Gin is pretty much going to be hopping tomorrow morning. I think so. We're real excited. <laughs> Thanks a lot. All right. Not a problem, Coach. And before we go, uh, I guess uh, we'll go ahead and throw you this week's edition of Star Wars. <laughs> 